Hi guys, welcome to your June 2021. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You Timeless Reading Week 4 for the beautiful sign of a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello guys. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to my tribe and what's good fam bam, say hello to my members and to my patrons. We are growing over there. Thank you guys so much. What a day. I can say I am headache free. I feel like I'm in like alcohol anonymous or something. I know for a fact that me and a couple other of people that I have reached out to or that like my regular clients have told me that we all kind of had these headaches going on at the same time. Maybe it's because the sun has shifted into cancer and Mercury is now direct, but we have like four under four other retrogrades. If you're interested in what those retrogrades are, the zodiac, the, uh, can I talk the horoscope, the horoscopes are available. I unfortunately did not have time to write them. So I did give credit to the author um, and, um, so yeah, when they're my words, you know, I'll tell you last month they were this time I had, uh, yeah, that long story Libras. Anyway, um, everything you need is below as well as the deck. This is going to be the bonus, by the way, while I'm just talking, um, it is very, very interesting. What came out for you? This is your bonus. I apologize. Um, I got so many clarifiers here. It's like looking at, I'm telling you, um, I'm telling you right now. That this person that you are with is trying to detach from you. Um, they feel some kind of way. They do not want to see you up, um, hanging out. They do not want to see you putting yourself first. If this has not come out, it will. We are about to go into the summer. The summer solstice is upon us. Okay. We're gearing up for this Capricorn um, full moon and tomorrow. <laughs> so... A lot of you guys, please look out on channel two for how that's going to hit you, so forth and so on. I'm not going to be interrupting the, the tops of the videos this week to do it um, because it's not an eclipse. But, you know, I do try to do something on the full moon on my other channel. Um, and I may post something on, on uh, for my patrons, too. Let's get started with this. So, first of all, I have to move everything back. We're going in with a new deck this week. Um, in the bonus. So we are going to be doing a little bit of all three. What I'm trying to do, if I'm satisfied with the, the, the cards that I have, then I may not, but the no communication, um, the no communication deck, I feel like right now is getting a little redundant, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pull all of these back and let you know. So, you know, we go, if you're, if you're in this video first, there is a link below in the description that's going to take you back to the main video. This video and the, and the instructions on this video is also below. I do not need people coming and saying eight minutes, 10 minutes. What the hell? That type of stuff. So look, just roll with me. The first car. Okay. The first card we have is leave space so I can grow and nourish my soul. Wow. The second card is time with friends. And this is friends introduce a new love. <laughs> oh my. In the hard place, we do have true love. Mutual loyalty and true love. Mutual loyalty, true love. We also have should I stay? We also have secret love. Hidden love or meeting in secrets. Okay. We also have at the top of the deck, if I can get down there, we, okay, here we go. We have addictions, okay, yes, we do, and then we have on this side, uh-oh, passion. So, I know that this individual, Libra, is definitely very upset because there was some things that has happened between you guys. This person is going back and forth. And I feel like you guys are mirroring because I do see this in the clarifier. Where is it? At least I thought I saw it. Um, but what I want you to know is that, of course, you guys are handling this energy very, very different. Your person feels like they want you to leave space. 
Um, they don't want to leave though. They go back and forth. Again, I'm channeling a very mutable energy that on one hand wants to leave you alone. On the other hand, can't make his mind, his or her mind up. On one hand, they're angry at you because you kept it pushing. You are spending time with friends, Libra. You are trying to live your best life. You're out there single, ready to mingle. You're no longer making room and time for their garbage. They don't like it. Their biggest fear is that friends are going to introduce you to a new love and friends may introduce you to someone. Um, I don't know whether you're going to act on it, but what happens? You're sexy, you're good looking, you're charming. Why should someone not be interested in you? If this person can't get it together, then that's what's going to happen. But in the heart place, they are very, very much stuck here. They go back and forth with, should I stay or should I go? The secret love, when I see what it is clarifying, this is them having this secret love for you. You know about it, but not to the extent. Do you understand? Not to this extent, okay? So we're going to go in with the first set of clarifiers that is going to be brought to us by the Divine Abundance Oracle cards. I wanted to introduce a bit of spirituality into this because um, we I don't want this to get too redundant. It's obvious that this is a video that is designed to kind of act as an appetizer before the main course. So leave space and as so I can grow and nourish my soul is being clarified by surrender. The sur Okay, the surrender card carries the following message. Sometimes learning to surrender can, can feel as if you are dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. And that is exactly what they need to do, to surrender. Time with friends is being clarified by extraordinary. They know that they need to, first of all, surrender the ego. They do not want to relinquish control. This carries a message that there is a wild and impetuous uniqueness, uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. They know that once someone sees how beautiful and extraordinary you are, that they're going to love just the, they're going to fall in love with the same qualities that they fell in love with. How can they stop that? They can't. OK, true love is being clarified by divine source. The divine source card carries a message. Help me know all that my deep. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Re and instead of surrendering to divine source and allowing, you know, their angels and guides to guide them down the path, they don't listen to, let me show you, they don't listen to what spirit is telling them. Um, no, there was a judgment card that I saw. Well, first of all, they are in that three of swords. Look how beautiful these cards are. They're still feeling this heartbreak. And there was truth that came out. But I saw a judgment card somewhere when in the pre-shuffle. And I thought that it was at the bottom. Um, but it was. And I must have shuffled it again. They got the answer. They got what they needed to get. Let me get that judgment card. Because that is what I thought was down there. They got that message. Spirit worked on them and told them exactly what it is they needed to do. This person doesn't want to listen. They feel as if they surrender. You're winning. They're very emotionally insecure. They feel like, why should I kiss his or her behind? Well, you're not kissing that person's behind. It's unfortunate that the mind thinks that way. In turn, what you're doing is trying to understand that you're meant to be with this person. You got the good energy from spirit letting you know that this was something divine that you needed to do, that you needed to pursue. Yes, it felt the same. It feels the same. It feels like you don't want to be humiliated. It feels like you're having to do all of the work. This is what they are feeling, um, Libra. But at the end of the day, they're being guided towards you and they're too stupid to actually 
listen to what spirit is saying. Let's keep going. And should I stay is being clarified by the right action, which care is right action, which carries a message of the following. Listen to this pronunciation because I don't want to jack it up. I love this deck. Hold on. Where is my pronunciations? You know, I will cut them on guys. Okay. Where is it? It's, Ara, ar parikfaha. Does that sound familiar, guys? This, and I don't know where that tab is, so this carries a meaning, a message of the following. It literally means let everything that wants to go, go. And everything that wants to come, come. That's what this means. So should I stay is being clarified by the fact that this person is trying to control everything in this relationship. I really wanted you to see if you can hear it because I had the pronunciation down packed before. I don't know what I did with the tab. This is what happens when you have 50,000 tabs open in your Mac, guys. It's just terrible. Yeah, I must have... I must have messed up the closed it, but that's what this means. Okay. I'm done with this. That's it. Let me get out of here. And so it, it seems like this person has definitely got to a point where they were trying to control the narrative. Basically the top of the deck we know is passion as well um, as addictions, which I showed you. Um, secret love is being clarified by detachment. When with detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. That's kind of where you are right now, Libra. I think the majority of you surrender extraordinary divine source, right action and detachment. I think the majority of you are kind of at a place where you're kind of fulfilled without us. Uh, like, like I said, you have detached from what no longer serves you and you are you have the sense of fulfillment with or without a particular desire. It's no secret that you guys have this connection, but you're not married to the pain. You just decide that, you know what, if it's not going to work, I'm just going to throw my hands up. I don't feel like you're necessarily mad. I feel like you're just at peace. All right. The top of the deck is expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Exactly. And finally, loss. Sometimes you, you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate, passion is here, a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. So you got a lot of ego cards here. This person is definitely very ego driven. Um, they feel like they're missing something if they give in. They feel like everything is a fight. Everything is a competition. Everything is a matter of giving in or surrendering oneself to the point where, you know, oh, I've surrendered. Now you can walk all over me. They have this very medieval way of thinking. And that is what they're, that's what they're, that, that is how they're feeling. We're going to go in with the second level of clarification really quick. Leave space is being clarified by you are my soul's greatest love. So those were the spiritual lessons. Okay. These are the clarifiers and um, same thing, no communication. It, it, you can look at it the way that you want. Um, you, you, it, now all of the parameters stick. You don't have to talk to the person. You set the parameters yourself. Okay. And if you see this time with friends, I can't forget you all. You're always on my mind. I surrender my love to you and surrender actually came up here. Okay. Surrender came up. So that's one of the spiritual lessons here in the clarifiers. True love is being clarified by your smile is my ray of sunshine. It gives me the strength to continue on. Should I stay is being clarified by I see you in me. Twins are mirroring. So I believe that you went back and forth with this person. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? And I think ultimately, actually, Libra, you just got to a point where you kind of detached a little bit. You were not looking for your fulfillment in that person, but they're definitely looking for that fulfillment from you. They refuse to attach. They cannot detach. I mean, they refuse to detach. 
Secret love is being clarified by, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I did not handle it well. And yes, they're harboring this secret love for you and they do not want to let it go. Okay. Addictions is being clarified by two steps forward, one step back. We still move forward in our twin flame dance. But unfortunately, for those of you who are in a twin flame connection, you get to choose. Um, then that's what's going on right now. Maybe you are in a twin flame separation. Okay. And then will this heartache end? This tears me apart. This is the one that I am, um, I'm clarifying with. This is a full, I, this is the one that I'm resonating with the most. This is a full blown breakup. You could have possibly even walked away from this person and started dating somebody else. Um, and you are a part of me. I want you to know that I love you more than words can say. All right. That's a bonus. So that is how, what we're going through in this particular, um, this bonus, you know, this person really does have harbors this secret, their ego won't allow them to come forth and really do what they want to do. They feel so much more than what they show, which is unfortunate because every time they try, and I feel this person struggles, they may even call you, they may come back and, you know, um, they'll tell you how much they love you, how much they miss you, and then instantly I deal with that anger again. You did this. And, and then it's like, what's the purpose? You're going to, you know, curse at me and go back and forth with me and tell me what I did. We're not getting anywhere. Ultimately, there's a shutdown. And then you guys are right back in the Mexican standoff. It's ridiculous. So that's your bonus. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the main video to everyone else. I'll see you in the extension. That's next. Bye, Libra.